Well, this is our estate range, and yeah. Um, and yeah, these two wines are Chardonnay and a Pinot Noir, yeah. and they come from the estate here, but they're from three or four different vineyards. Okay. Um, yeah, mainly sort of you know absolute premium. They're probably all over about twenty years of age. Whereas these wines here are single vineyard wines, right. um, and they're from uh, from one specific plot of Chardonnay and one specific plot of Pinot Noir. When you describe a Chardonnay, for example, as being infused with flavours of nuts and things like that. Obviously you don't go and put those things into the wine because it would just send it horrible. Yeah, look, um, you know, if I said something tasted like Chardonnay or smelt like Chardonnay, nobody would know what it what it is. Yeah. So I've got to try and give them some characters yeah. of the wine. So when I sort of talked about, you know, it smells a little bit like cashew or smells a little bit like sort of hazelnut character or the sort of little white flowers or yeah. whatever, um, people know those smells and, and they relate. kind of yeah, yeah, and they can relate to them. So there's no infusing or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But the last thing I want mm. is oaky. Chardonnay, yeah. I think that's... Well, if know. people can, if they can pick up that oaky character in yeah. Chardonnay, it's too much. Too much, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With things like Pinot Noir and Syrah and those sorts of things, mm -hmm. we're doing a lot more foot plunging. Yeah, right. Um, and, you know, getting back to, you know, traditional winemaking. It costs a lot more to yeah, do it that yeah. way, but I think, um, you know, you do get a fantastic result. Like when you're putting your feet into a say a fermenter or Pinot Noir, you can feel the differences in temperature right, um, yes, in there. So right. it's very important to be able to, oh, sort of, it's a warm spot, I'll, yeah. I'll push that, yeah. you know, this way or whatever. It's about and being a bit more intuitive, I think, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yes. yeah, so it's really interesting. We're trying to make wine um, more natural yeah. and uh, mm. perhaps a little more textured and uh, we're not we're not trying to make wine as perfect as we used to. Yeah, yeah. You know, like Australia mm. went through this stage of making everything perfect, perfect yeah. fruit characters, perfect this, perfect that. It's the imperfections mm, in wine yes. that I think make wine delicious. It was almost a bit like winemaking by numbers. Yeah, and, and right. really it's about, well, it's about expressing, I think, really what comes from your sure. patch of dirt yeah. and, and not, not tricking it up. I've got two favourite drinks. Pinot okay. Chardonnay are, are, for me, you know, the noblest yeah. of white and red. Yeah. You know, they are fantastic. When you, when you try really good Chardonnay, yeah. you know, from cool climates of Australia and things like that, it's yeah. really fantastic. What I also like about Pinot Noir is that it doesn't need to be really big and full and yeah. rich to be amazing. It can be beautiful and aromatic yes. and perfumed and yes, delicate. Definitely. And everybody goes, woo.